And with that, Zach's about to be a dad. This is his last episode as a non-father. Hit it, Zach. I don't know if that's true yet. You don't think so? <laughs> we can't we can go past. Uh, but we are back. Episode 55. <laughs> wow. We are back. You, I I'll try to. The, the doc notes. I got to put up for So, uh, as always, the BSG podcast, we've got some big stuff to talk about today. A lot of stuff going on in our group chat that uh, we're going to bring to light tonight. <clears throat> we've got some unpopular opinions in our group chat. Uh, we've got some people that let money talk. They'll make business decisions based off money. And some of Nothing us are... But money. Well, we'll get to that in a minute. As always, the BSG podcast... Oh, I said 55. It's 56. Oh, yeah, 56. Oh, you it right, I'm pretty sure. No, I said 55. It's oh. 56. Well, Cut. The Beast of Golf podcast is yeah. always proudly presented to you by the fine folks <laughs> over at Moon Golf with the locations in Melbourne, Vero Beach, Palm Beach Gardens, and our favorite location in Auburn, Alabama. Moon Eagle. Golf is the only equipment store that you should trust because we trust them uh, <clears throat> to get your next set of clubs or gear from. They offer a wide variety of apparel that can outfit you head to toe if you're needing any of your clubs worked on, don't worry because the Moon Golf Garage can hook you up. They have every tool in the industry at their fingertips to make repairs and even throw on some new grips for you. Uh, be sure to check out your local Moon Golf store and tell them you heard about them on the Beast of Golf podcast. Hey, I'll tell you this. Went in there one night with my putter, gave him my putter, picked out a grip, shopped for about 10 minutes, putter was ready to go. That's how quick they are. So quick and knowledgeable. <clears throat> knowledgeable. Best also, if... Business. If you want to go shopping at Moon Golf, saw this on Facebook uh, yesterday. If you go to the Auburn Tigers Facebook page, they're doing a giveaway with Moon Golf. You have to post in the comment a picture of you golfing, if you're an Auburn fan, and some Auburn gear. And if you get selected, you get two thousand dollars to spend in Moon Golf. Wow! Dang. Could you imagine? Crazy! A brand new bag. That's a new, I was about to say yep. that's a new set of clubs for sure. I've so got that's all a poor iron and wedges. Got to. I, oh, I may yeah. throw in some shoes and some uh, polos. You know they carry Swannies up there. Oh, Swannies. Yeah, be still of... 15. Wow. <laughs> That's clean. So, uh, yeah, if you want to chance to win $2,000, go post a picture. Um, so, with that, let's, try, let's get right into it, boys. Yesterday, as my Ooh. wife's in there doing dishes, and I got dishes going around the house. Simmer down! We got uh that was totally for play. I don't scream at my wife like that. He's like uh where Theo talks about guys drinking monster, you know he's going home to punch. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can I pause? This is live. Oh, get him out. It's okay. Um speaking of people that I think would hit somebody, not women, but hit somebody, Brooks Kepka. Because he's a clown. He's a clown. <laughs> Should have closed at the Masters. I'm blaming the weather and him not getting the extra day of rest, but he closed this time. Oh, it's disgusting to watch. He absolutely He's good. dominated that's, that's the That's the only round. problem. He's very good, especially on Sundays. I think he the final round, he what started seven under, then went eight, then he dropped back to seven, then went to eight, nine, and he kind he went, of kept the pedal down. Yeah, he got up to ten at one point, and then he made a bogey <clears> right after. And I was rooting hard. It's hard to root for Hovland because he looks crazy in them coat polos. But I was rooting hard for Hovland. And he just, that shot where he was in that thick bunker and he had to stand weird and he just could lay up in the fairway. That's his only play. Uh, they just ruined oh, it for man. him, that hole. No, That's when Zach Texas. Well, uh, well he, he tried to go for it, but he was in that bunker and he was 160 out. And the only thing he could do was, you know, punch back to the fairway. And that's when he doubled or bogeyed that hole and yep. downhill from there. Well, the shot, they showed the shot from in the bunker. It was literally the same shot another guy had the day before where it just hit the lip, and he was in the same spot, same club, same everything. I'll say this. The course, before we get into the Brooks and the course, I loved it. Um, I love low-scoring tournaments like that when the conditions are tough. I don't like those 25-under, 30-under wins. Uh, Over four days, only be, what, 9-under, 8-under. Love that kind of stuff. There's actually a great uh, clip on YouTube that shows them leading up to the tournament, uh, how the maintenance takes care of the course and stuff. But beautiful course. Yeah, I loved it. I thought everything about it was um, spectacular. I think they presented it well, especially for a 
PGA Championship. It almost felt like it was a U.S. Open. Yeah, and that course, uh, I know y'all probably saw the clip. They're saying as Billy Horschel was talking about a fifteen or eighteen handicap, uh, Shoot possibly shooting out. No. Yeah, hundred and fifty out there. And then I'm like, uh, I think I could get up and I'm breaking a hundred in my head. So that guy, that clip I sent in the group chat, um, was a zero point one handicap. He shot an eighty five. Okay, I'm not breaking a hundred. <laughs> that was the Gabe Reynolds guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, one of Does the anybody guys. know the what the yardage was this week for them? I don't have it mm-hmm. on me. I wonder if I can find that. Um, yeah, that Man, would be I a was, big, big, big factor there. I was pulling for Scheffler. He uh, he made that putt at the end on his last hole that ended out. It was about like a 15 footer downhill, and he drained it. And I like jumped off my couch whenever he made it because I was like, that's the only thing he had left to put any pressure on Kepka. But it it didn't matter because Kepka was just too far too far ahead. Ugh. It says the black tees there are seventy one forty five, but I'm sure it's even further than that. Yeah, I feel oh, like yeah. they're playing uh deep seventy four, seventy five. That's big. Uh when we're used to what, sixty three hundred? Fifty eight. <laughs> point fifty eight's point. Yeah. Um oh here we go. Course. Give me the yard right here. Oh, seventy three ninety four. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. You put me at seventy three ninety four. I'm probably not breaking a hundred, but I'm not shooting no one fifty. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Goodness, you got money on it. Yes, on from, from seventy three hundred. You put me at a course at seventy three hundred yards. This course. Yeah, yeah. Not hit. I might, we'll go tomorrow. Yeah, get us, <laughs> get us on. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say Joni done broke. We gotta go. <laughs> so uh, Brooks, Brady has this in the notes, and I've got a quick answer to this. Is Brooks the best golfer of the last a decade, the last 10 years? It has to be. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Who's got five majors? So that's what we're, because he the just did five years. majors. I'm not talking, I mean, I think to be considered the best golfer, it's in the last decade, it's overall wins, competing. He's only hot in majors. That's his downfall. That's the only time they he gets hot. Nicholson the best because it just wins. I mean, it's 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 part of that. Close. What is a uh, eighty? What eighty two wins? Eighty one. When they talk, count them. they only count they, majors. No, no. When they talk about his eight, his wins, they don't say they don't just say eighteen majors. They say eighty two win PGA Tour wins. I think Scheffler's done more in the last two or three years, accomplished more than Brooks this has in the last ten decade. It is ten. Yeah, I'm saying Scheffler's done more in the last two years than Brooks has done in <laughs> ten. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's wild because Brooks has five majors in 10 years. And that's it. Scheffler's won five, six tournaments in the last two years. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know man. So that's why the, you said ZB could win one. Before so Brooks there, wins another one. You bet it. And he, he responded to us too, didn't he? <laughs> there was a uh, a thing that Rory said a few years ago. He went into Tiger's house, and um, the only trophies that Tiger has on his wall are the uh, majors. And Rory asked him where his other ones are, and he said, I have no idea. Exactly. He's, he's different, though. <laughs> but ma- majors is what counts, in my opinion. I, I just I don't even like Brooks Winner because he cares nothing about golf. It makes me so mad how he talks about golf. I think he's getting around to it. Like I think he's getting better with um, putting himself out the there media. with golf. I, I, think he, I think he wanted to be like – kind of playing that character of it's not that important to me but now he's just like all right well i might be one of the greats now so i should probably start caring oh don't even say that that's not true he's I, he's uh he he's joined in rare air at five yeah i was about to say there's only 20 people uh 20 players that have ever won five majors so i commented he's uh, not one of them I, okay, he's trash too i commented on a post last night from a personal page on uh zyre golf and about Brooks, and I said something like, uh, he's going to be the first player to try to get back on the PGA Tour because he needs that competition. And I woke up this morning, and I had I'm so million. many people mm-hmm. arguing. on my, Like one guy responded directly to me saying, that's silly. And then another guy responded to him kind of backing up my case. And then it just went on and on of people just arguing. He's a baller. He wants that competition. Yeah, I could see him trying to, which we talked about last night. I didn't know that about the contract. I think you or Jeremy said yeah. that it's, it's four I mean, times. You know, Jeremy, no, no, no. Yeah. 
I didn't know that before you told me that. I was thinking he's going to be the one that's going to try to write a letter and get back into the PGA Tour. I think he misses playing against those top-notch guys. For sure, he does. Uh, and it's always interesting, too, how it, the media made it look like they just all hate each other. But then that Brooks was talking about, no, we all live you know, five minutes from each other. We play go- I just played golf with Rory last week yep. and yeah. stuff like that. Um, and then Rory hugging him after the tournament. So you could tell they're still close. I think Brooks wants to get back to that. I think there's some regret going to live golf. Uh, yeah, but he's he's so young, so he's got tons of years left to play. Yeah, but where the PGA Tour? I, I think they're banned for life unless he can, Jay he can play in all the majors. And that's that's what true. He's measuring. He already got the hundred mil. I yeah, wouldn't be surprised. Go ahead. There's there's some other things that come with winning those majors, and that's Ryder Cup points. Which is a big point. Before you jump into that, I wouldn't be surprised if in about two or three years, uh, some PGA of Tour upper people are kind of frustrated the way that Jay's handled all this and Jay gets the and he's out of there. He hasn't done that. No, that's much the Saudis that. Yeah. No, no, I don't mean like that. I just I mean know. he gets that. Hey, you're out of here, buddy. And somebody else is going to come in and try to mend the two and we're going to start seeing some events together. Oh, I and think within the next. Mesh. Five to ten years, I think that's going to happen. I think, I think if Liv stays around, then it'll definitely have to happen because if if they try to compete against each other, it's just not ever going to work. No. And I, Jay's probably going to say he's going to step down, but really it's people pressuring him saying, hey, you either got to get us playing with them or <clears throat> you're out of here. And then Jay's yeah. going to be like, well, I guess I'm out of here. Yeah. Uh, but like you said, his stance. <clears throat> the PGA – uh, of America also handles the Ryder Cup. So interesting. Can you keep the PGA Championship winner off of the Ryder Cup? No. Nope. From what I've heard today in all of the uh, podcasts that I listen to, it sounds like they pretty much have to let him on. I don't think there's a way that he can not be included. But there are like rumors that other live players might get maybe like looked over just because of their affiliation with live even though they might have like um enough maybe not enough points but they're playing good enough yeah they still might Mm -hmm. get looked over so they're they're not they're not quite sure you know everybody wants ian poulter uh europe and all that stuff they just love the way but then you think for usa and you're building a Ryder cup say there's no live and all that is brooks really somebody you want on the Ryder cup as far he doesn't that's not where he shines, I don't think. I don't know what He's his a record winner. is. But, uh, not at those competitions, I don't think he is. Yeah. I, I mean, I think he's guaranteed, though. I don't, think it, I don't think there's much they can do about it right now because he's got the points. So That's one of those I may start pulling for the other country right, <laughs> when, he, when he's competing. Yeah, when he's Riggs competing. Red yeah, Redcoat Riggs. Um, it's just he's a majors guy. I think the – I think there was a whole that was an argument a few years ago about the Ryder Cup was that he just doesn't show up uh, yeah. when it comes to Ryder Cup and Presidents Cup and all that stuff and it's like he's a great player he's just he's not that guy that team one. he's not a, in the Ryder Cup format yep mm-hmm. maybe he's better than I thought I don't so want him though Kepka has <clears throat> been solid if not great in Presidents solid Cup stuff great. or Ryder's Cup Ryder I guess Cup. well we'll see if he's in he's in. We can talk about the uh, the real winner from uh, from yesterday, uh, the block party that um, brought America to tears. What I'm talking about, shoot, Michael Block, the PGA teaching pro from California, who brought it home, T15, <clears throat> got exemptions into uh, the Canadian Open and the the <clears throat> event, whatever's next week. I don't, I've already forgotten, but the Charles Schwab. Oh yeah, yeah the Schwab and then the RBC. That's right. He's already in those, and, of course, he made it uh, into the, P- the next PGA Championship <clears throat> next year. I saw the uh, I saw the reaction today when – I hadn't seen it until today when they told him that he was paired with Rory on a, what, Sunday and how he was oh, just yeah. blown away. I bet that would be so cool right there just to not even care what you shoot, but you're just playing with, you know, somebody like Rory. Um, but so he – Tied 15th. Played great. Some of them shots he made under that pressure. Takes home, yeah. what, 309? Is that what you said? 309,000, Zach? Mm-hmm. 
Sheesh. That's more than how many? How many lessons? What do you have? One twenty three hundred lessons. Yeah, twenty three hundred lessons to bring that home. Ooh. And then he's gonna go to Charles Schwab. We talked about this last night, Brady. Let's see what you think. I said, I wonder if he's gonna play so good in the PGA Championship, and then next week at Charles Schwab, he just misses the cut. A lot of people, I, I heard that today uh, on a couple of podcasts. They were like, you know, he he's been around. It's not like this is some new guy on the scene. Like apparently, he plays a lot of golf with Patrick Cantlay. Um, he's in like a group with those guys and I, they, they know he can play well, but, um, mm-hmm. you know, I think he just had that, this one off, um, it could be just a one off round or a one off tournament, you know, but yeah. he's going to, he's definitely going to be able to, <clears throat> you know, try more often now since he played so well. well oh yeah. And talking, then I was going to say, they were talking last night, uh, there was an interview with him of when he stopped like being scared to play in front of people. Mm-hmm. And he was talking five years, five or six years ago, Tiger was two groups behind him. So every box he got up to, it was like 10 people deep, the whole thing. He's like, once you play like that, it's it's just golf. Yeah. And then you, uh, you got to think now, he's probably about to get a little bit more attention from TaylorMade because he's a TaylorMade athlete or pro staff. And Nike. And Nike. Um, and I imagine he's going to be done with teaching for a while and try to pursue. Because I guess all golfers' goal, even us, you know, we'd love to be on the PGA Tour. So if you get the opportunity, you're not like, yeah, I'm going to play these few tournaments and go back and teach lessons. I'm probably going to chase the tour as long as I could. He had a phone call that I watched where the guy, I guess whoever's over the PGA of America, like called him, told him he was exempt for uh, the next two events and all that stuff. And and he – he, uh, I guess his manager, or somebody that was traveling with him, was behind him, and he was like, "Hey, can you call my boss and let him know I won't be at work tomorrow?" <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, if he would have got tied for third or higher, he would have got a whole 2024 exemption, like the whole any event yeah. he wanted to go to. Yeah, uh, that's that's, but, that's wild that that's even like possible for someone. Yeah, I need to. Uh, so so he's gonna be the championship next week. I need to figure out why my boy Duffner was not at the PGA Championship this week. Could he not afford the flight? Like, what happened? Yeah, Trash. Why, why, why was he not defending? I don't know. That That's a good question. But I, if I had to guess, I would just say that he hasn't he hasn't done enough to be able to qualify into it. I, I really have no He's idea. He's a winner. I think he, he gets lifetime exemption. He's a winner. I don't know. Is that how that worked for the PGA? I, I know that's I like a master's was. thing, but I don't know if it's every, every one of them. I think them. it's for all of them. I think at least for that one. Um, so some of our picks we made: Morikawa tied for twenty six. John Rom, who picked John Rom? Uh, no, I don't think oh, anybody picked him, him. I just had him on there because he was a notable. Zach picked Maximus Homa. His words tied fifty fifth, and then a uh, JT tied sixty fifth. Not the performance we were looking for from JT. But Bryson T four. Ugh. He was Did in just, the hunt Sunday, and then he lost that ball in the water. Just see the TikTok I sent you where that guy was like, laying up, does it make you a – and he was like, shut the – up. <laughs> I was like, dang, Bryson. <laughs> uh, that's sure they get it all that. day. Yeah, that's one of the things I'm like, bro, I mean, quit being like that. You've got people around you, but I guess I just wouldn't even acknowledge that guy that said it. It just looks bad PR. If I was his yeah. manager, I'd be like, oh, no, he didn't just do that. You He's know, Justin Thomas had the same thing stuff. the other day. I mean, the uh, oh, recent? Year. oh, where he's like, you know, the, enough, enough. He's yeah. like, you know, them greens are fast. I'm like, bro, it's Saturday. I've been here. <laughs> enough. I've been here for three days now. I know they're fast. Um, yeah, I, you just have to. Golf's a wild sport when you think about it. How close people are able to get to uh, the athletes. Like when you went to East Lake, Brady. Some of the pictures you showed me, you're like right behind Rory, wasn't you? Oh yeah, we stood on a tee box that was like. I mean, Jordan Spieth, like, teed his ball up, and you know how they, they kind of stand behind their ball looking down the line. I mean, I could have, like, tapped him on his neck if I wanted to. He backed mm, up so close. On his and neck? That's, that's an odd location. <laughs> that's I mean, he, not his I, shoulder? I have to show you the picture. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've seen the video. Y'all got that you think video that's... of Bryson for me, but that's a weird location to touch him. <laughs> do, you think, do you think that's one of those things that makes golf so uh, special? is that you can just be that close to the the athlete, I guess. I, I do, and it's funny. And, I, go ahead. I was going to say, and you're able to get on the, like football, you can't go get on Jordan-Hare Stadium. 
or Brian right. Denny. Field. But the PGA, you're like, you can walk on the course. The only, Play it sometimes. The only uh, sporting event that I can think of that you can get that close is like the NBA, but you've got to pay so much money to get like close. Oh, yeah. Um, but like, right. I think it's crazy that people like us can just go to an, a PGA event, stand as close as we want to pretty much to all these people. Mm-hmm. And I mean, you got to think, I don't, there's probably over 200,000 people at that event throughout the whole week. And n- nobody had any kind of crazy incident. Like you, s- it, anything could happen. Like people could just walk up and like oh, yeah. start fighting one of these guys if they wanted to. But I mean, nobody ever does anything crazy like that. <laughs> or one perhaps thing that separates <laughs> the PGA from anything else is you can go out there and literally do it. Yeah. Like Same Clark. course. I told uh, Chad at work, I said, you know, it's got me thinking. I could string together a couple rounds. I might be out there myself. <laughs> I mean, you could. they could play the players, and the next week you could be on the same course, playing yeah. the same holes, yeah. uh, trying to shoot 69 like they did or whatnot. No, I'm talking about in the team. event. Oh, you think you could play? I'm, no, I'm, I'm not saying oh. I have that talent. You say I mean, it could you happen. Have the talent, yeah, you could be teeing up beside Rory all day if you're yeah. good enough. There's, you can't do that in the NFL, NBA, MLB. It's all nope. different. Golf is like a pure sport where you can just be one with the guys on there. It's like, I mean, the highest level. Brady could make the cut after what he did at Roanoke. I know. Shoot one over. <laughs> the man I could. some handicap adjustment. I asked Jeremy on the ride home. I said, do you think that's uh, – I said, I think that's Brady's best round. And Jeremy said, I think so because he was signing the ball. And I think he's – he was putting it up. He said, I'd imagine if it's the best round, he's putting that golf ball up. Yeah, I saved it. So that was the best score you've had so far? Yeah, it is. Uh, I don't know if you want to get into that too much or save it. Well, I told Zach, I said, because um, I was talking about all week I, leading up, I was talking about how I was going to beat Brady. And I said, I felt good. I started par par. And I said, the only problem was Brady started birdie birdie. <laughs> and that's when I knew I was in trouble. Any other time, if I started par par, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm on it today. But yeah. the guy you're trying to beat is Birdie Birdie. You're like, ugh. Golly. So I didn't have much of a game plan going in. Like, I I mean, I I had a pretty neutral uh, neutral feeling uh, and not overly confident or not overly worried about anything because I uh, had played like a couple of days before that. But I didn't have a great day off the tee. I was kind of like mediocre. But that course is so open that, I mean, you can kind of miss left and right as long as you're not in uh behind like tree trouble and stuff and had a had a lot of chirping like you said going on so i, I had that in the back of my head but uh i knew what i had to do the only thing the only thing i had on my mind was to beat casey <laughs> <laughs> and they t- they said i was gonna finish last but i couldn't let that happen i mean it got down to the wire at the end but, i told uh, jeremy in the truck i said uh well one of the things about rono like you just said is you can miss left and right and you're okay and i think where brady me- i mean uh jeremy messed up is there's two holes to play, and I was two strokes up on him. Uh, and you remember, I hit it off the tee. I hit it into that water, so I had to drop three and hit it. And then he hit it to that fairway. If he would have went down the fair, the eighth fairway with you yeah, and then jumped over, he would have beat me. I told yeah. him that because he would have got more than – that hole I ended up only losing one stroke from him. And I was in the water on first shot, hitting three from the tee box again. But he tried to cross over early, hit a tree, only hit it like 100 yards, then had a long way to go. I said, if you just followed Brady down the eighth fairway, then crossed over, you would have made like a birdie or par and got two or three strokes on me. Yeah, that, that was, was his- a. I honestly probably wouldn't have made that decision if I didn't hear you ask him if you were going to go down the eighth fairway. And I was like, that's a pretty good idea. I think that's I'm the way do it puts you in a good spot. The only problem is, yeah. I think you, I told him you hit it too far because then you had to yeah. punch it, which it turned out fine. But yeah, I got you didn't know that from where you were. Yeah, I had to keep it low, and it, it did get up on the green, though, so that was all I was worried about. But ever it was about, I'm ready for Brady, Zach to get out there. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say, ever since Brady got fitted for that driver shaft, that and the lessons with Maddox, he's been on a tear. I was gonna, hit, I was gonna he only hit that. driver twice. Well, four, because there's only no. two holes, I think, you hit it. So you, And we played it twice, so four times. Yeah, I hit driver a good bit, but, I, well, you know, and then my two iron wasn't really working, so... You chunked it that know. one time. I got real excited. I, I did. <laughs> Somehow I got a bogey after like chunking it 50 yards off the tee on a par four. But uh, uh, yeah, I wanted to shout out the coach, man. I feel like the the short game has been coming around. And 
honestly out there putting it's just kind of it it was very nice the day we were there so i, I don't I have any it. argument on that end but i, I told I made a lot of putts that i normally don't make because there, there was some of those par putts that i may have been you know a little outside of like four or five feet that just went in and that's not oh yeah you know, that could make or break around for me we told zach last night that i think roanoke was so nice that to play uh, that level of fairway and greens, you probably would have been like RTJ or somewhere like that. Yeah. Um, and the fairways, me and Jeremy were on the way home. We're talking about how nobody chunked the ball all day, uh, like iron shots. And usually at point or any other course, it's very dried out. You're hitting on hard soil. But that's Roanoke, so- it was like it was grass. Yeah. That that's something that I noticed when I was out there last week. It's like the the club slid under the ball so well that you did, your miss hits were like still forgiving. So, yeah, they're very forgiving. Yeah, which makes me think you go play a real course, how well you can shoot when you're not hitting off hard soil Georgia I, clay. I, I agree. Rock hard dirt. Yeah. yeah, I know the fairway is a plus. Like the ball roll out further at point in the fairway than it did at Roanoke, but the next shot at Roanoke, I never had a lower. I'm like, oh, this is so hard. It's gonna hurt my wrist if I. But it was like always just such a nice lie. And you uh, could attack those pins, dude. The greens were soft. And oh, my I gosh. Mean, Nothing it, it rolled out. Rain, it was perfect. It did rain a little bit, so it softened it up even more. But, dude, like, if you, if you wanted to go right at a pin, I mean, all you had to do was hit it there, and it was going to stop. It was like a one. It was like it would hit, bounce once, maybe another small bounce, and sit. Yeah. It wasn't like your ball's rolling off the green, like y'all said, what Callaway did during that tournament. Oh, yeah. Every green we hit, it was like concrete. We uh, I told Jeremy. I think you may have said. I said I think Zach would shoot really well out here, at Roanoke, because it's so for his distance and it's so wide open. He can just literally just swing as hard as he wanted, and there's no trouble. What do you think, I think was you the think. downfall of your round, Casey? Uh, that that tee shot in the water. Well, that and, was uh, like the, almost the last hole. Like, yeah, I, I was trying to think back. Like, I mean, I had a four four or five putts that I remember that. I, I, they broke. I missed on the low side like barely that I should have dropped for pars yeah. or birdies. Um, other than that, I'm not. I love the putting because I think I two putted all day except for one or two holes because you could lag it up and it would stop to like a foot within. Everything was like a tap in. If I was forty feet out, putted it, and the next putt was a tap in because it was just if you started on your line, it stayed on your line. Yeah, I saw Jeremy rush some putts, and I think that got him there towards the end because like. He would get up there and just kind of try to tap one in, and it, he'd end up leaving it like oh, two yeah. feet short or something like that. And I was just like, I think if he would take his time a little more, he he might, you know, convert a little more often. I want to get Zach out there when it's like this. I think Zach could go low. I think it'd be a battle if we brought our boy out there. Guaranteed. Oh, under <laughs> seventy-two. Um. Well, let's. Uh, that's the that was recent. That video is going to come out soon. Um, uh, in a few weeks gonna be nice and let's jump into in since you talked about the coach for a minute ago uh points men golf point men's golf just went to arizona started rough uh the first <laughs> yeah. day um they needed some work to do and then cole stevens like he's done all year had just kind of clutched up and shot under and then on the third day jacob clutched up and uh put in some work but the team they did pretty good finish uh what t11 is what you got right here that's right yep um so yeah they were Maddox, battling back. He's, yeah he's building he's building the program he's got some good guys on there oh i agree i i saw the scores that cole posted dude I, he shot a he shot a 81 the first round and then came back and went like subpar uh the rest of the the rest of the other three days like yeah to come back if i if i knew you know put that into my my perspective like if i shot a 101 the first day and then mm-hmm. I was like, dude, I might not even break 100 the next few days. I'd be so torn yeah. up about that. Because I'm sure just him shooting hurt. 81 felt like us shooting 100. Absolutely. I would, I would love for us to like do a little two, three-day tournament to see like if we could get hot by the third round. And not like you play, then you wait a whole week, play again. But like, it feels like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll you can have see a chance it. coming up. Yeah, well, that'll come up. The only issue is, well, no, I guess majority of it will be your own ball. So you can kind of see by then if you heat up. It'll be three different I mean, courses. We could so plan that, that Saturday for solo. Yeah. On the schedule. What we could do is 
uh, since most of the videos we're going to film and play are best ball or your own ball, let's see like, by the end of the round you keep your total score like 300 or 270-something strokes is what I ended with and kind of do it That's that way. See so who ended the yeah. – see what 269. <laughs> 269. <laughs> and Does see what everybody ended with. Yeah, that'd be clean. But maybe we could figure out a way to do it like that and kind of see by the end of the trip uh, if we got hotter and what our overall strokes were for the whole tourney, the whole round. Are we, are we going to talk about the trip? Right now. Let's do it. Let's go, Brady. <laughs> you got them deets. Oh, man. Let me pull up the email real quick. But we've been been talking all week. I think it's I think it's set in stone now. Mm-hmm. Uh, Got to be. We're making a, making a trip. It's, to not, the, it's in your personal email, right? Not our Yeah, I've been, I got the quote on my personal email. This time uh, last year, we were preparing for the road to Texas, making videos. Uh, and so I guess we decided we're going to do it every year. And so, Brady, where are we yeah. going this year? We're the road to? Pinehurst. Oh, boy. We're going to North Carolina, boys. Yeah, the Sand Hills of North Carolina. You got to throw yep. Nelly in there right here. North Carolina, go on and yep. raise up. I think I'm more excited about playing Tobacco Road than the possibility of playing a Pinehurst course. Not going to lie. Yeah, I am too, honestly. I, I feel the same way. I, I know that... a couple more lessons in. Well, I know... Here's rusty. the thing. I know Tobacco Road is going to eat us up. We're probably going to shoot some of our high scores. But it's just one of those courses where you can be like, I played that course. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And you're going to have your phone out taking pictures the whole time. Score's not going to be super relevant. Like, I'm not going to be mad if I shoot 105 out there. It's going to be like, yeah. well, I just played a really cool course. Yeah. Kind of um, be like when we played in the tournament in yeah. Texas. It's like, we didn't play great, but it was a boys trip. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I've got, I think I picked out a couple of other courses that are pretty uh like i don't think they're super difficult they don't have that like they've got a more traditional style like to what we're used to around here um Mm -hmm. bermuda greens and uh like larger larger greens with uh water water fairways and stuff like that that i kind of read the description on the other two courses and i i believe like to warm up on those first yeah. I think we should be able to get like in a groove and then go and play the uh, the rolling hills of Tobacco Ooh. Road. <laughs> and then we're going to try 36, to... 36, 18. I love it. I want my back hurting when I get on that airplane. <laughs> Ooh, one of them big bottles. One of them big bottles of ibuprofen. I want to be sitting in the uh, American Express lounge just hurting before I board my flight. Mm, we might need to talk Brady and, and Jerm into getting access Y'all need to. Um, Let me send you this referral code. (laughs) (laughs) So we're going to try to get on at the cradle if we can. That'd be a cool, like, afternoon, evening. We'll probably have the opportunity to get on it, like, every evening just because you – what I was reading, you have to make a call the day before to see if there's Tetons available. Like, Mm -hmm. if you're not staying on the resort, you can't, like, book ahead for those Tetons. Yeah. So – I think one out of the three days we should be able to get on. To do that, that'd be so we're gonna try to do that. Um and then we're gonna try to get on I'm sure we can get on one of the Pinehurst courses. It won't be number two or number four or anything like no. that, but I they've don't got think a, number two's worth it cost wise, honestly. No, that's probably just, more down the road. It's all hype right now. We need to be invited. That's yeah, I think know. yeah. I think down the road we go back and stay on the resort when we've been invited and then we play number two. But if we yeah. can just play any of them, I'm trying to go in that pro shop and get me some goodies. I yeah, need to play a course. To. Let me swipe this card. <laughs> uh, so that's we're going to we're going to North Carolina. It's gonna be a good one. Um, we're gonna have some one of our low side videos come out of there. Possibly gonna have uh, maybe work in some kind of best ball version of Red Beards and Back Nine yeah. Bandits. We're ready. I'm about to get old germ to dye his beard red to be on my team. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get that gray out of his face and get some red in it. You can buy him one of those fake ones that like strap oh, yeah. ears. Oh, yeah. That's what we need. Because we haven't done a best ball version of that before. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a good one. we got some good stuff coming from that trip. I'm excited. And it's I'm excited about the price, too. <laughs> I'm yeah, ready to nice. do that thing. Casey kept asking me, he was like, is that per day? And I was like, no, that's like all together. <laughs> Bro, I'm just so used to these golf trips having to put some coins away. But for what you got that thing for, um, <laughs> yeah, I'm down. So I'm excited. We got that coming up. Um, let's get into, before we jump into the rest of college stuff, let's make some picks for the Charles Schwab this week. Presented by 
uh, Primo's golf apparel. Let's do a Primo's and Swanee's golf apparel. Mm, I like that. I like that. Let's do them both. Swanee's hadn't been getting enough love. I mean, we not enough. I, I've I've paired my Swanee's with that new um those new pants I got, I, dude. I think that made the I'm total difference. Ordering mine this week. Ordering I mine have, this week. I, I was telling Bailey, I said, you know, Zach used to have some maroon pants, and then he got rid of them, and she was like, why? They look so good. <laughs> Jonah I'm, was not a fan. I'm getting mine. Um, I've had so many people, too, about the Swannies say, hey, when y'all do another order, let me get one, you know, in on that order, get one or two. Um, I love that we found a brand that we can get our stuff on. Same, and it's yeah. not necessarily like trying to get a promo code, which we have one, Be Still 15. Uh, but we can just rock our gear like that with our logo. Yep. So go go check them out. Primo, you can use BSG 15 for 15% off. they got joggers. What are they called? Mock neck? What are those collars? That's right. It's like that's a, right. a razor. Is it a razor oh, yeah. collar? I think, that's I think what so. They were called for Tiger. He kind of brought them out. And I won't lie, Tig posted not too long ago on his story about all the new stuff that Primo sent him, and it looked pretty good. Some of the hats look good. I'm a fan. Yeah, I am too. So, uh, I like Primo. that white with the, um, it's got the script Primo on it. Yep. I, I love it. It does clean. look clean. And then I'm going to have to get, before the trip this fall, the wine-colored Primo pants, the green ones, uh... And maybe another pair. I'm trying to get some crazy colors. Not Joey Colcutt's vibe, but some crazier colored pants for the trip. Maybe some new foot joys, too. Yeah, I was thinking that. Might have to get some up for beers. <laughs> Katie, Katie looked at me when I said that. I want the... Uh, new stuff? Yeah. I want the foot joy, the ones like with the wingtip, like Zach. Oh, some of yeah. those. Or either the ones that, like, on the side, it has, like, that... That little bitty flag, and I have to say, I want some I want of them. the ones that uh, Brent got recently. I think those are the premieres. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We need that BSG 15 with Foot Joy. Have you reached out to Roan yet? Have I got no, that promo I code? No, but I, I need to. Gosh, they're so, so expensive. <laughs> I got that. I only got that because I found them on eBay. Uh, so this week, presented by those two brands we just said, we've got the Charles Swab. Schwab. Uh, Schwab. Coming up, like we said, Ken is it Ken Block? What's, no, that's the that's the the Munster guy. Ken Block, Michael the one. Block. Oh, yeah. yeah, Ken Block, R.I.P. Uh, Charles Swab in Fort Worth, Texas. We've been there. Um, what? Let's, we we've been to Fort. What didn't we drive through Fort Worth? No. Dallas, Fort Worth is the airport. Oh, yeah. I don't think we well, ever made it into Fort Worth, but we're close. Last year's winner, Sam Burns. We've had some people pick him early on in the year. Uh, Scott Scheffler second, all that good stuff. We're going to get into our picks right here. I'll start us off because I know who mine is. I'm going. He came in tied for fourth last year. He's been hot this year. He's a family man. His wife picks out his clothes on TikTok. Give me oh, Tony, Tony. now. <laughs> That's my pick for this week. Such a wholesome family to follow, too, on TikTok. It is. Zach Blair's in the field as well if anybody wants to pick my boy. <laughs> Okay, give me Victor. He finally breaks through. He's oh. coming back. He's played hot recently. He just hadn't sealed the deal. I think he does it. Yeah, he Stakes was on are fire. a little lower. Yeah, he he had a good run there this past week, but um I think he just ultimately got beat. I'm I'm seeing some uh some interesting stuff on the uh PGA Fantasy app right now. I don't know if you guys have looked at it yet. But there are um, there are members of the Live Golf Tour available to pick right now. Uh, for what? I got, of, I got one on my bench. There's, for Charles uh, Swab? Yes. Yeah. Brooks Kepka, um, Cam Smith. Uh, How's that work? Dustin Johnson. I'm seeing all these players in the lineup. How's that work? I, I have no it idea. It just works. That's what they do. They're not in the field. I, I don't know what's going on. They're right on the here, app. Yeah, Brooks on the is app. on there. People, it, I clicked on the percentage of owned, and he has got fifty percent of players or people have picked him to win. I'm so confused. They're not even in the field this week. What are you going to get points on? I, I have no idea. I, I don't have no idea. That's very interesting. I haven't Brooks made a fantasy is, pick in about a month bench right now. What's he? What are you going to do with him? <laughs> I'll do what you did with yours last week. You pick who'd you pick the other day that wasn't even in it? <laughs> I'm <laughs> just saying. Speed? I did that not, last week too. <laughs> They're not even in the. I gotta get better about fantasy. I haven't made a pick in about a month. Who's who's winning that, by the way? 
I think I Abraham am just barely. Answer, probably. Yeah. No, I, we're talking about the out of y'all, fantasy uh, league. Brady, because I m- I missed that one week. AJ is still on me, but um, yeah, I think AJ's they caught back you. up with me this week because I didn't um, I had two guys miss the cut in my in my um on my list. Yeah, we need but, to. Um, next year, we're gonna have to really plan a way to involve the fantasy into our podcast and uh try to get people involved with it. That'd be fun. Oh yeah. yeah. I like that idea. Um for my pick this week, I'm gonna go Matthew Fitzpatrick. Oh. Mr. Write down every shot ever for no reason. (laughs) He's who Bryson thinks he is. So yeah. So we got um Tony Finau, Matt Fitzpatrick, and Who'd you say? Vic. Victor Hovland right here. Those are your picks for this week. You can take uh, any of those three and lock it in. Lock it in. Because we can see you do one time, Brady. Lock it in. There it is. Yeah, look at the camera. <laughs> lock it in. Let's see the finger guns. That's, lock it in. <laughs> that's going to be that's gonna be a shirt, I'm telling you, before long. Uh, one of those three, we're guaranteeing uh, at least a top 25 from our picks. I, I hope, hope so. Uh, you could take them picks. But next on the pod, we got this segment for you right here. Well, that one's going to be wet. Welcome to the Drop Zone. Presented by Warlord Men's Grooming Essentials. Use promo code BSG15 for 15% off. They've got your beard smelling right, looking right, your hair, car scents. they got everything you need. Body Bud is Body wash. Bud is a former... Uh, veteran in the United States military, and now he's making a living, making sure you smell good and your spouse does not hate the way you smell. Check out Warlord Ben's Grim Essential for 15% off using BSG15. The drop zone question, I just wrote this down. I wanted to ask what y'all think. What makes golf uh, fun to you? Like, why do you keep playing? I got it right here. First and easy. Yes. You think about nothing else when you're out there. (laughs) It's one of the things... Like you'll think about work, your like chores at home, bills, everything going on in life, and as soon as you stand on the box, you're like, "I got to keep this thing in the fairway." <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else is there. You're right. You missed, it's like, okay, I'll drop. I got another one, but you don't think about anything else when you're out there, and it's like, I always tell Johnny, it's kind of like mental health uh, relaxation. Uh-oh. Uh oh, the girls got to smoke. We're burning down the apartment. Oh. Put that thing. Oh no, there's two of them going off. Right, Let me mute my. Oh, no. <laughs> she got. She got it. She. She's oh, fanning no. it down. Oh man, ladies and gentlemen, think it's a complete relaxation from yeah. like, real life. Agreed. I think you might have to cut that out. That's gonna scare the crap out of somebody <laughs> <laughs> if they got headphones in. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I like. I I say like when I first got into golf in college, I re- had nobody that played, so I just go to the range. And I was like, oh, I'll play whenever. It's not that fun. But now that I have people to play with regularly, it's just it's fun being out there. Um, like he said, it, boys. yeah, it takes your mind off stuff, especially like now that we have this trip we establish each year. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just a good time. I enjoy it. That's what makes it fun to me is that we're out there. Just It's always funny. Something funny is always happening. Uh, a lot of laughter, a lot of fun. Love it. Yeah, I'll second that with the, uh, like the social aspect of it. And um, you can – you can pretty much go and play it with anybody. Um, I mean, there's there's people doing it all over the world. Uh, you can do it with your family. You can do it with friends. You can do it with people you don't know. I think it's a great way to interact with people, socialize. And, and once you get done, it doesn't really matter what you shoot because either way, you're going to have fun doing it. And you didn't have to do anything else. Like Zach said, there's like four hours you're on right. the golf course where you didn't have to worry about anything else. It doesn't matter what you shoot unless you're playing with our friends, then it does matter. <laughs> and then you get that red alert. Because you'll start getting some texts. Yeah, I was about to say some texts with a siren going off. Woo! You just have to put your phone down at that point. <laughs> yeah, just go <laughs> yep. and, and, hey, and battle you through. Just put on do not disturb. Some people, some people <laughs> stop putting their scores in, so we can't even keep up with it. Yeah. But he's not going to watch this episode, so Mitchell. <laughs> you can say his <laughs> that, name because you remember, he's uh, doing it. Is that you remember that time we played Bull Creek and for some reason somebody was like, let's play the tips and we all shot like 120 oh, yeah, something like out there? Third time ever playing. That score is still in there. I didn't it was, delete it. It was wow. like 136. 
there was a hole that we almost none oh, of us cleared the jump mm-hmm. from the tee box. Terrible. Yeah. I don't know what the point it was. So uh, if you're new to golf, play your proper yardages. <laughs> so you don't do that. Um, that's what I got on here. Y'all got anything? Nothing. Yep, I'm pretty pretty good. We're about to uh, eat some dinner and then hop on cod, Ooh, I think. Ready. Hope the new mic sounds just as you know, good I, on I, there as it does here. I downloaded, uh, I had it free, didn't know this. Downloaded Madden 23, so whenever you want that work right. on Madden, Zach, let me know. You ain't ready for that. That's... Every, Zach, whenever every you want that work, let here, me know. That's what I'm playing. I'm I'm always ready. I'll put it up on you, my boy. Put iced coffee on down. it. Let me know. Hey, Mondays in May, free medium iced coffee at Dunkin' through the Dunkin' app with a purchase oh, of something else. That'd be easy. Got mine for free this morning. I got you. Well, that's episode 56 presented by Moon Golf. Check them out. Uh, we prefer the Auburn store because it's close to us. If you're in Florida, go to one of the other stores. Well, till next week. Hopefully, Zach's a uh, father next week. Hopefully, so I don't have to go to work no more. <laughs> <laughs> How many weeks you get off, my boy? How many weeks you get off? Two. Oh, and you get a free Two? day next week because well, y'all need a Memorial Day. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I ain't wasting my vacation well, go. on that baby. I'm going golfing. <laughs> Dang! No, you go for Memorial Day. No, she'd kill me. Oh, as I said, let me let me know, my boy. I'll try. Okay, we working for my boy. June seventeenth is my next round of golf. I think. At uh, hey, coming up, we're gonna be playing Kelly Murphy, teaching pro Moore's at uh, Moore's Mill. She's a is she a yep. former yep. Auburn yes. She's a golfer mm-hmm. as well. Yep, uh, former Auburn golfer. Try gonna try to get her on at the fields down on the Grange, Georgia. Play out there. If not, we'll be. At, RTJ, Lakes, Lynx, y'all let me know. I don't play enough to know the difference between the two. I think she she suggested uh, the Lakes course. I wonder if she has some pull there to get us one extra cart. She's got to. You know what I was thinking the other day when I was watching that Sticks golf episode, Brady? We need to, and there's probably not much pressure on this, like people, we need to go film the part yeah. three course. I, That'd be a oh, fun yeah. video. I, I, all I of us got there playing. As soon it. as I saw it, because I was like, "That's a easy video for us to go make." Yeah, real quick. Oh, sure would. Yeah, eighteen holes. We could even split that up into three parts. Six, six. I ain't gonna say the last number. I ain't no satanic worshiper. I'm just kidding. Uh, we need to go do that though. That'd be a fun oh, video. I agree. Part I, three out there. Yeah, and shout out to those guys, the Sticks Golf. Uh, they're definitely worth a subscribe and a follow on social media. They post some very, very insightful. And, I mean, honestly, just the quality and production of their videos is just outrageous for the amount of like subscribers they have. Because I mean, we're like right there with them, and their oh, yeah. quality and production is like a hundred times better than ours at the moment. So honestly, their stuff is more watchable. <laughs> we growing. Yeah. We working as we speak. Our we had a new video come oh, out gosh. one hour ago. It's been I got to post something on Instagram. And let the people know yeah. it's out. I'm about to go watch it. But uh, go, yep, go check that out. We'll see y'all next week for episode 57. Peace. See ya.